Hey guys, welcome to the Ben Zone. On today's episode, we're going to be talking about the Netflix original series Perfume, breaking down the ending and trying to figure out who the killer is and just what happened. In order for us to do that, we have to understand the plot, the characters, as well as the overall ending of the story. And to do that, we have to start at the beginning. And in the beginning of the series, it starts off with the murder of Katerina Lofner. Now, this starts off a chain of events that leads us to various different paths and various different suspects as to who could have been the one to kill her because her group of friends who will call the Perfume Five all have their own motives as to why they could be one of the suspected killers or why they would commit the crime. And for us to understand how the Perfume Five came to this, we have to go back to the beginning of their childhood and their inception as the Perfume Five. And they started their group after reading the book, The Perfume. And that book is what started their obsession with the sense of smell and creating fragrances as well as harnessing, understanding, and using those smells to manipulate the emotions and the minds of other individuals. Because when it comes to human beings, our sense of smell dictates a lot of our feelings, our emotions, and everything in between. Because smell is a strong sense and smell can last a while. It can change your mood. It can make you want and crave something or it can make you rebuke something just by the simple smell of it. So Katarina was the most popular girl in this town. Everyone from men to young adults to everyone just wanted her or the women wanted to be her and that's because of her smell that she had a fragrance that drew people in and whoever killed her wanted that scent and as the story goes on we're introduced to other characters and so many different possible suspects but towards the end we get an understanding of who the actual perpetrators are but however the show begs the question who is the killer is the person committing the acts the killer or the person who is ordering and behind the mastermind behind it all is the killer. And that's the blurred line that the show actually stretches. So let's run down the Perfume 5 and look at their motives behind it. Let's look at Toothless. Toothless would kill Katarina for Elena because he knows how much Elena resents and rejects the very notion of Katarina because of Elena's relationship with Roman. So he'd do, he'd do it for Elena. Elena would do it again because of her relationship and the toxicity that Katarina adds to her already toxic relationship with Roman. Roman would do it because of his jealousy and his desire to want Katarina for herself. Morowitz is obsessed with the sense of smell and if he could harness and create the perfect perfume for Katarina, he would do it. And then you have Thomas Butcher, who at first seems like the seediest and the most dangerous member of the group being a pip and having strong desires for Katarina, would also be behind it in a fit of rage or jealousy. Even though we come to find out that Thomas Butcher is most likely the most decent of them all because of his own tragedies. Now these five are a prime suspect. But, and then you add Lydia who is Toothless's psychologist. And we come to find out her desires and her motives are even beyond theirs. And hers is in the realm of selfishness. And she's involved and she is actually the one who is behind the killings. Now how did Lydia get involved with the killings? Well, to look at that, we have to look at where Lydia stands. Lydia is Toothless's psychologist. Toothless is the one at the very beginning in the first episode divulged to Lydia just what these people were doing when they were in high school and how they were capturing sense of people. Toothless also told her about Katerina and everything Katerina meant and her power using her scent. Toothless is also the one who went and slept with Pearl and he came to Lydia's office and he rejected Lydia and her advice and counsel because of his experience with Pearl adding another victim on Lydia's list because if Toothless felt that strongly about her and, and Pearl is the oldest prostitute in the brothel, she's the one with the most clientele of everybody, now that adds another layer of it. What about her smell, her scent that makes people desire her? But the way Pearl's scent works is people just want her for sex and they keep coming back. But they, they don't want anything else with her. That's why she's like a 40, 50 year old prostitute and then you have Lydia's sister who's paraplegic but gets more love and more infection than Lydia has ever gotten from her mother and that brings us to an overarching theme in this show and that is the desire and want for motherly love most characters on this show have some sort of deep yearning for their mother Lydia's mother cast her aside for her sister we have Toothless who's always wanting the love of his mother but never had it we have Elena who had no mother and desired that motherly love and her father could not give it to her. We have Thomas Butcher, whose mother actually abused them as a boy, so he understands what a child can go through. Then we have Elsie, who's Pearl's daughter, looking for love. And then we have Miss Simon, who wanted the love of her mother, and which caused her to get a gravest brain injury that comes to play 
a part in her life later on. So all these characters have a deep longing for their mother. So Lydia understands the psychology of the mind and how smell can affect it. She wanted the smell of her sister because that is a loving smell. She wanted the smell of Pearl because Pearl has that sex appeal that people want with her. And she wanted the smell of Katerina because Katerina has that obsessive smell that everyone wants to have her. Not just for sex, but they become obsessed with being and wanting and having Katerina. If you could take these three smells, you could create the ultimate scent and the ultimate scent of love. And that's what Moritz is interested in. Moritz doesn't care about how they procure the smells. He just wants to be able to create some of the best smells. He wants to be able to manipulate emotions of people. We come to find out that back when they were in school, Moritz was able to create the scent of Merton, the kid who went missing, for Elena. And, and Elena was adopted by Merton's mother. So we come to find out that the smell actually worked. And Toothless divulged that information to his psychologist. And that's why she is the one committing the murders to get that smell for herself. She could finally become desirable in the eyes of anybody because she's always been in the background. No one really cares about her. She has a practice out. Like, even her mother chose her sister, her paraplegic sister, over her. And she just wants to be loved and desired by some people. And Merowitz himself just wants to create the perfect smell. One smell for every emotion. That's what he's after. That's his obsession. So even though all the other Perfume 5 have their own skeletons in their closets, none of them are involved in the murder of Katarina because none of them would do it except for Morowitz. And he is the driving force. So the two killers are both Morowitz, the mastermind, and Lydia, who's the one actually perpetrating these killings. And the reason like Lydia is able to do that is because Toothless taught her and told her how to do it because he's done it before with Merton and he could teach it to her. Now, Miss Simon plays an interesting role because Miss Simon, as we've been going on the story, she's been having her own side quest with the prosecutor Gutenberg because she wants him and she wants him to leave his wife for her, but he doesn't. So at the end, when she kills Lydia and takes the scent and she uses it, it comes from her lack of love that she never got from her mother. And that is the one of the reasons why she's so obsessed with Grunberg because she wants him to want her just like everyone wants Katarina, just like everyone wants Pearl, just like everyone wants Lydia's sister. So even though Lydia warned her about the effects of it and how powerful the smell could be, she doesn't care because she needs Grunberg in her life because she's missing that love and she wants it from him, nobody else but him. So the power of smell is very persuasive and these characters are all attracted to certain smells, not just these characters, but me and you as individuals. Certain smells attract us and certain smells reject us and we don't want anything to do with them. So that's what makes this show very interesting. The fact that it's able to dive deep into one of our fundamental senses and give us different ways to explore that sense and how these characters and how the sense of smell and the wanting and needing to be desired by people can influence our actions to create crimes or do other heinous things in order to be loved and feel like we are desired. And that is the main theme of perfume, the want and need to be loved and desired by people. Just like Moore was said in the show, every human wants to be loved and desired and he's able to recreate that. All you have to do is commit the murders to get him the ingredients he needs to make the perfect perfume. Anyway guys, that's my explanation as to the murderers, the intent and or the overall plot of Perfume Season 1. Now I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comment section below. Let me know what you guys think of the show, what you think of these characters. Would you be willing to use that perfume on yourself to get the desired results that they're getting? I'd love to hear your feedback in the comment section below. Guys, and if you like this video, definitely the thumbs up, hit the subscribe button if you guys haven't already, and until next time, binge on.